up over Jcom. It's like the observers just know. They they already knew. <laughs> it's already set up over J Compound. We go again. Uh, well. All right. Well. Who needs a weekly finals last anyway, time. right? What it was DA who won it last time, right? Last two times, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe Metralis will get another two piece with the with a pistol. Or not. Oh. <laughs> no. There you go, there's a circle. All the way off to the west coast. And now it looks like 4 a.m. is cleaning this up right off the bat. Two down, two knocked already, one flushed. Smash could go for this res. Code Marco rocking the car 98. Just exactly what you want in a straight up 4v4 fight right in the face. They found some grenades for 4 a.m. And there you go. Done and dusted. Uh, let them know, crazy. Empty the whole thing. You got 24 bullets left. Keep shooting. Come on. Okay. 18 left. Keep shooting, please. No? Okay. A little restraint. <laughs> For, uh oh, that's Satu. it. Look how close we are. Lockslock has oh, no dude. idea. If Lockslock dies again to a, like a horrible surprise, like last time he was like trying to. You know, quietly just catch someone off guard, get spotted instantly. Oh dear. <sighs> okay, okay, it's okay. Satu's timing is gonna be weird. I think he might be a little off by this point. Oh, oh he tried to seed to swap him. him. He would have been safe. Mm. Oh no. Oh, that's unfortunate. And now they lose a second. Yep. Oh my goodness. Enter force. Oh. That is getting things done right there. Well, there you go. Two kills. Man, he would have been swapping a buggy. Oh. Yeah. Goodness gracious. I feel it was just that that, you know, that quick decision that you make where it's like, oh, seat swap time. I I mean, a little I, I honestly feel if he just kept going on as he was. He in about three seconds. You can see the mass of teams is around Furia, kind of expecting. Wow, okay, a lot of water. Now, this is not the first time we've seen these sort of circles. They have happened in the past, but it becomes coastal play and the kind of woods that wrap around the back of Quarry. Infantry get a really good position. TSM, Furia, Buram, all great. The others might make a mad dash towards the coast if they feel they can make it there in time. But beyond that, Quarry becomes super playable as well. I mean, the, this is looking roughly similar to the uh, the circle that we saw when Zenith got their win yesterday, where the next circle still cut hard to the west. Uh, you know, and you can see a lot of these teams have that game still in mind. As Shrimzy is going to get picked off by Ike's left, they're going to try to do the seat swap, and he will trade it back. He should be able to maybe get the rest. No long, we'll find Mime. And now it's just been traded back and forth. What does Sonics do here? They've got two knock. Tickleton going to trade. I think, yep, he's going to find Mill as Petrichor down to just long, I believe. Feasible for now. Not as bad as likes of Triple A are, but they're going to garner some attention. E36 now down one. Everyone's going to just kind of like pile into them a little bit, give them a couple of shots. Wait, they're carrying on crazy? Where are you heading towards? Are you really going to push this hill? That's very bold. Completely and utterly confident in the fact the 4 a.m. would continue to move forward. They really aye, just aye, aye. Damn one. cyber bullied Dom one off of that hill. <laughs> that is absolutely nuts. I mean, we're going to have to call up the bully hunters at this point. Get someone on the case. <laughs> uh, circle our way out. Oh, a broken shack might be the, the better chance. And yeah, it was TSM waiting for Burram. TSM were on the opposing hillside, the kind of uh, other compound that, you know, if, if it ends that way is kind of normally the opposing number. But of course, TSM will have to move themselves in as well, maybe work their way off it. E36 in the vehicles on the way. God Meow's pulled off, might get some shots through on this. Nothing really too much to write home about. E36 will make it away from one, but merely into the next fight. This is going to be explosive. What an absolute gauntlet for E36 here on this northern side, and they actually managed to get through. Now TSM going to try to trade back on a Burry Ron, but K7 Savior will find Miracu, and he is going to be the saver of your Burry Ron here. As old oh, crazy, 
will take him out. But now look at this. E36 makes it through that entire gauntlet, and now they're getting picked apart here from range by, I believe, Furia. Uh, Furia had a... So, I mean, it's going to be one of those where it's like, as much as down one we're in an okay position, the coastal play is going to be a bit of a problem because it will move towards the land now. So teams that are further on the eastern side should have an easier bit of play. Right, so there we go. Inventory, Furia, and Sonics actually get a really good spot playing and considering so well. TSM heading right through this. Iroh's further ahead. Are they full sending now? That, I, I gotta say, I, I really like this from TSM. They were already in vehicles, already on the move before the circle even popped. They knew that this thing was gonna go probably towards the land, but the only problem is they don't really know where to go. They didn't have a whole lot of time to scout it, so they're just gonna try to send it and try to find some kind of area to play. Don Juan, meanwhile, gonna run right on top of Fury and kill Demo, gonna clean up. Kale, though, will trade it back, and now it's down to a 2v2, I believe, between Kia. Now, no, Necro, the last one up, but he clutches it out for the squad, Furia cleaning up Dom Juan Kia. They're just in the same sort of area. This is madness between these two. Crazy off the bike, wants to put down some shots. Why not? That could be a good shot. No, he holds off, but Lou's going to find Edie. Uh, I'm not sure what his plan is now. Buram are going to continue forward. They're going to try and just get down the road somewhere. But there's nowhere left. They could dive into the ditch of Furia, but we saw what happened to down one. You probably wouldn't want to do that. And now the rest of 4AM trying to get this fight going against E36. They're trying to stay alive in Bury. I'm going to crash right on top of Sonics. And they will find one. They will find two. Sonics holding down the line here at their shanty shack of horrors. And here we go, 4AM trying to pull now onto E36. I think it's just down to Sylvia. A few shots left. I think they're... Majority of the lobby, so let's see. Okay, no Ooh. one got the victory on that. No one got, oh, at least it's staying on the north side. No, this is now slap bang donutting up. And you've already got Fergus putting some work towards forever. And 4AM trying to stay low in the swampy areas, kind of up to the knees in it. Fergus not opposed to doing it himself. And neither of these teams are in the circle now. So it's a mad dash again to come out from these teams. All violence and mutually assured destruction, it feels like, going on on this northeastern side. Meanwhile, infantry laughing. Sonic's in a good spot as well in their shanty shack. Meta has a compound on the very southern side. TSM's still looking good. But everything going on to this northern side has to come to a uh, conclusion here shortly. And there you go. Four Angry Men will be finished off by DXG. The area, GEX, K7, uh, and infantry and Sonic's. CC. Oh, nice grenade. They're just so good. Uh, I don't know how much longer they can try and hold on. DXG in the vehicle. Yeah, CC's dead. Necro's going to put that one through. DXG, where do they head in this? I mean, you've got the main road, I guess, but there is. Oh. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Fallen Beautiful. over bike cosplay. Did they notice it? No, they're out on foot. I don't did. think they did. They're not looking his way for dxg all the teams that were on the north on that outskirt that were just kind of leading around the circle are now in trouble we've got the bush wookie not wookie oh. bookie but simply the other one nades coming through raspu fury are putting up some numbers and they do have four alive keep in mind this is the first time we get to see them can you imagine them winning this one game in boom they're through no worries that would be insanity but dxg still doing okay they're trying to at least kind of tend to the wounded and get themselves back to fighting form CG playing this north northwestern side. They haven't really had a whole lot of action over here, but I mean, it's just because there's nothing really good to play. And now, oh no, they've got a long road ahead of them. Now DXG has taken some serious damage. But they still have to find somewhere. I mean, it's just nothing but open field. Where do they even go? Look at this push from Furia, though. As OTSM, no! Oh, Summer just destroyed Vard. Vard and a nade to follow. Brutality at its finest here. No chance for recovery and in the vehicles we go. I'm amazed we oh, still have 10 teams down. in this lobby. And they're going to push right up towards Wookie Bookie ramming speed. Oh. Wookie Bookie, the quick switch over to the rifle, tries to do what he can, but tank too quick. Sprays in wildly. TSM left in shreds. Blue, the blue against their backs. Meanwhile, their sister team going to try to push into DXG. We'll see what Rusty Zara can do. He finds one, but gets traded out immediately. Furia, no! Sophia? No way! Oh, that's when he decides cresting. to strike. 
Oh, yeah, no. silhouetting so badly, but now this kind of ruins the chances they were starting to build. This could have been a huge storyline for them. One game in, and they do such incredible work, but you can see TSM, even in death, still trying to do some damage, but Sonics aren't going to be looking at Furia as, as a, an easy team to walk past, but they want to try and get through this, secure that northern side so they can maybe focus on what's in front of them. Already Shrimzy trying to put down some damage, but they're only down to just Shrimzy, and there's going to be the Molotov to force out kill demo, but it's going to be Shrimzy now. Having to try and put down a smoke to keep his teammates safe, so he would love to get that res, and there we go. Kill demo goes down, and now the res becomes... ...count is right now, but i got to imagine it's sitting pretty. As AAA, you see, they're still hanging out there, and infantry never left. He is looking to encroach over in that direction, so they can have... They're free to just expand and, and play out and spread out as much as they want to here. Leo, meanwhile, looks like he has been spotted out. Nine will clean it up. And now we are down to the top four as infantry tries to wrap around. We'll see if Sonics can give them any pause here or give them a problem as they're down to just two. And Triple A just content to play that ridge along the roadside here. Now, Sonics. Did they make this <laughs> Oh, that's a dangerous player on the other side, but H1 just got a nade to him. And if they're playing a battle of just trying to stay alive, sadly for Sonics and H1 specifically, they are outnumbered here. And the further this goes on, the more interested MCG might get. Indeed. Oh, nice grenade from H1. We'll open that up a little bit. I mean, this could be... Uh, actually, I don't even think they can get that res on the Xiao Yang either because the blue is pushing in. So really, really well-placed grenade there as infantry will lose one essentially for free. Almost, almost lose two as Longskur just takes one in the face Wait. from Shrimzy. Has Evil Lee just banged out two big M24 shots back to back? And do me a favor. If you can get me that replay, you know I'll love it. Don't you, don't you deny me this. I need to see it. I see a Bolty, I want to see it. Now, Evil Lee's got him dead to rights over here. One nade could potentially get the flush as well, and the knock, which would pretty much secure this. There it goes. Oh, it's good. Jayas is now down, and the next of the range of the bombardment begins. While all this happens, keep in mind, Ling Du's keeping track of the roads. No one else can oh, cross. This is purely keeping vision, and the Great Molotov does it spread anywhere. Janku's okay for now. But by process of elimination, he won't be good for long. He is in trouble. But look at the look at how much space MCG has to just run around, get whatever angle that they want. They don't have to worry about anything. They fought hard to win the western side of this circle, and now it is paying off huge dividends as they just can have their run of this circle. Now, infantry still have to deal with Sonic's here. That's Pretty nice grenade. Nope, goes a little bit too far. Goliang trying to clean up this Sonics issue, but Sonics just proving to be a tough nut to crack here. The longer this goes on, the worse it gets for infantry. This, oh, the gap in the smoke! Oh, H20 gets Ooh. one! But surely there's a trade. There it is. Goliang quickly on the trade. No flush, though. So there's still a chance for more damage to come out from Shrimzy, but he needs a nade. He needs something that's a lot of players to purely power through with a rifle. He does have the barrel, but he's lost down his teammate, and now it's Shrimzy and basically a 1v3 uh, at this point. Around oh the corner God. says hello. Say goodbye, no. infantry. Bolyang again tries to save the day. But with the blue on the back, I think it might just be Bolyang at this point. I don't know how many people he can pick up here. Oh, infantry, infantry, infantry. You had such a great opportunity in this game. We'll see if they uh, if MCG actually allows them to get these reses. The smokes are coming through in a big way, but I mean, it's it's almost highlighting where they're at here. Now, AAA looks like they're going to be having to put a move, make a move here in a second, but this could be, oh, that could be it. That could be it. That's a great grenade. I'm pretty surprised that none of them landed yet. And this is... It's a game for MCG to lose, in the nicest way to put it. They have the perfect positioning, they have everything they need. Now Janku's doing a bit of work, infantry are being a bit of a problem, but MCG still drastically outnumber the rest of the lobby. This would need something huge from infantry. Longska's trying to do whatever they can, but already Evil Lee on the off angling do as well, maintaining circle position. I don't know if there's a way out from this. A good nade, a good moi? 
This one's all but over, and Longska gets found. A great win in the end. The multi-surf 